What's going on guys? So today we'll be looking at the Cobalt 257 piece mechanics tool set. We'll be seeing whether it's the best mechanics tool set for woodworkers and anybody in the woodworking community. Let's get to it. Okay guys, a little bit of quick context before we begin here. Now, I'm a woodworker, not a mechanic. So this will be coming from a woodworker's point of view and perspective, meaning I might not need all the dang tools that you guys mechanics and guys are working on your cars every day and different variety of tasks might need. What I've been working on and what I've been using for the past, I don't know how many years I've been alive, is my dad's old task force little set right here. So this is nothing like, that is nothing major. That's all I've been using. Now, this was a gift for Christmas for, for me. Um, so you won't have my objective opinion on the price point, but you'll get my object objective view when it comes to tools and different things and what tasks I'm able to do. So let's take a look at what's inside. Okay guys, after doing some research online, I noticed how many different variations of this Cobalt Toolbox system has been sold over the years. So this is the, new, this is the updated 2022 uh, December, basically, of what Cobalt offers for their tool set. So in this case, we have two drawers here and we have this top uh, space right here. So. We have these hinges right here, which are just kind of stamped uh, aluminum sheet metal hinges. So nothing to write home about. Okay, so most importantly, we get a sticker here. Always sticker. Now keep in mind that 257 piece set is not saying that there's to be 250 sockets and different um, organizers and things in there. We're gonna have a variety of different features. So in this case, we have a whole lot of bits right here of different forks, square, uh, star, Phillips, uh, U-shaped ones, which are really weird. I don't know why we have U-shaped ones, but that's what's in this top drawer. Also with the variety of these um, extended drill bits here. Up top we have uh, 3 8 all the way to 1, 3 8 7 16 and 1 half on the wrenches, on the little wrenches, 11, 12, and 13. Um, millimeters. This is a metric and standard set. So you're gonna have a vest of both words there, worlds there. Okay guys, so here's um, what Cobalt is really known for and their main uh, selling point of this mechanics tool set is these ratchets here. So these are 90 tooth ratchets. So this is a quarter dry ratchet right here. Oh, that's really nice. My first impressions of even touching these types of, these types of ratchets. Quarter inch, three eighths and half inch. So you're gonna get a variety of sets here. You're gonna have your 3 8 extender and a quarter inch extender. You're also gonna come here as well that 257 piece uh, uh, set comes into play here. Also with the bits, but then also with the Allen keys. So you're gonna have your uh, metric uh, keys, your um, standard keys, and then your Torx uh, Allen keys right here. You're also gonna come with some impact or some nut drivers. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't have any of these, but I do wanna, um, curve some expectations for some of the woodworkers out there who are unsure or unfamiliar with the fact that companies like to say 250 piece set and then half of them aren't even sockets. This is how they do that. For me, it helps because I don't have any of this stuff. For others, it might, it, it, it is going to be a bother and that's why, you know, in the future when I buy more stuff like this probably, I'll be, I'll be getting more annoyed on the fact that they claim the 257 and give me like a hundred Allen keys. So this is their 90 tooth uh, wrench right here. So I'm gonna use the biggest one as a comparison. So it's got really nice ratcheting action. It's got a really smooth quick release button at the top right here. Okay guys, now let's talk about the drawers. Uh, first let's talk about drawer action. So these are plastic drawers on Plastic. This is just plastic on plastic, so it's very. Oh. <laughs> From the angle, Matt. Oh, there we go. So it's very hard to kind of get things out here. Obviously, I wasn't at the best angle there. Not that weak. Um, anyway. <laughs> Anyways, um, maybe I am. I need to work out. Anyways, um, so these drawers are removable. So each these two levels are removable here. Now I did see in the past um, this option did offer three levels. And that bottom level was for storage. I would have liked that here. 
but in this case you only get two drawers and both these drawers are stacked to the brim full of stuff. But this is plastic on plastic. So it's really tight right now and it's got like a lot of uh, friction. I don't know if that will wear over time. Probably not with me because I'm not going to use it that much. But again, something to consider whether you want to step up in price point or if it's good for your application. So both these drawers are able to be removed. Um, and so we're going to take a look and see what's in these drawers and what it's included and what skips they might have in this. So let's go take a look. So about a month ago, I posted a video on my community tab and I posted what's your favorite tool brand at Lowe's. Now, I want to connect more of you guys with as a community, so I want to understand like maybe what's my audience. So the one that actually won for Lowe's was Cobalt with 31%. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to provide a um, tool review on Cobalt and I wanted to answer the community um, in terms of what um, maybe you guys like tool wise. So I appreciate you guys giving your feedback and I hope to provide more uh, content for you guys specifically around um, tool brands that are a little bit more affordable and accessible for the majority of people out there in the beginner and DIY world. Okay guys, we'll go look at our quarter inch options here. Um, with these options, I will uh, put everything that it includes down in the description because I know there are skips and different things um, and I don't want to mess it up over voice, so I'll just put it down in the description below um, about what this contains. So for standard, we have 5 30 seconds all the way up to uh, 9 16 and these are in our six point. And then for metric, we have four all the way up to 14 in the metric six point. And then we have 3 16 all the way to 9 16 and this is gonna be in our uh, 12 point sockets. For our big uh, half inch sockets that's also included here, we have our, our 13 16 7 8 and 15 16 and then for the metrics, they have 19, 20, 21. So those are the only uh, options you're gonna have for your half inch drive sockets that they provide. And these are all gonna be 12 points. Okay guys, for a 3 8 inch drive, we're seeing the most variety here. So we're gonna have our 3 8 all the way up to 5 8 And these are gonna be in our six point sockets here. For metric, we're gonna have 10 all the way up to 17 in our six point. For 12 point sockets, we're gonna have our 3 8 all the way up to 7 8 here. This is 12 point and then from 10 all the way up to 21 in 12 point. Now, back down to our quarter inch drive, we're only gonna have quarter inch drive for the deep sockets here. So these are all only quarter inch drive, and they are six point. So three sixteenths all the way up to three eighths, and then four millimeters all the way up to 10 millimeters in the deep sockets. So this is gonna be in that second drawer. All right guys, so the only point of contention I would really have with the set would be, um, the etching on this uh, the socket here. So um, that's what it is, it's an etching, it's not a stamp. So maybe over time, over high use, that might wear away and I might not be able to see the number, but I doubt in my case it'll wear away because I, I don't have a high use case for it. So that, that why, that's why for me, it's not a huge problem. But for some, that might be a point of concern. I think um, overall for value for a woodworker, this is gonna be a great set for you guys. Um, this doesn't um, have everything, right? But for a hundred bucks or so, um, this really has a large variety of stuff that you might need, especially for beginners here. For me, this was a gift, so I'm extremely grateful for uh, this gift here. And you know, whatever came in it was to be perfect no matter what, because it came from somebody's generosity. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys would like, please like and subscribe. If you guys wanna check out my Instagram, check it out below. That's where I post like almost daily content going on, what I'm building, different things like that. So if you guys wanna, catch up a little bit more on my business journey and woodworking journey. Uh, my Instagram is where I'm most uh, active there. So check that out below. So thank you guys so much and take care.